Well, Kiev is actually one of the worst affected cities in Ukraine. If across the country, Ukrainergo, the main electricity supply company, says that about half of the country's needs are currently being supplied. In Kiev, it's worse. Only some 30 percent of residents of the capital have got electricity at the moment. And DTEC, one of the main electricity generation companies, its top manager said yesterday that probably people in Kiev today were only going to be seeing their electricity connected for two to three hours, if at all, before, he said, moving on to a system of rolling blackouts, more like what was in place before the most recent wave of attacks, which still meant that people in Kiev were having their electricity cut off for um, as much as 12 hours a day, as much as half the time. Depends on the area. Some people were having cutoffs that were less long. So this recent wave of attacks uh, seems to have been particularly effective uh, for for the Russians in terms of how badly Ukraine's electricity system has uh, been hit. And that, of course, has had knock-on effects on the water supply because the pumps don't work, which also can affect central heating. In this area where I am now, uh, which is the area where I live, we don't have uh, the heating on at the moment. There are hopes that this will shortly be rectified but because, of course, with the temperatures being what they are, uh, people can't live uh, very long, uh, at least not in any kind of comfort at all, uh, without their, their central heating work. So that's going to be the priority. People expect the heating to get back on soon. But the electricity, it looks like that's going to be a lot more complicated. And apart from the electricity, what has also been um, a much worse um, aspect of this most recent wave of attacks has been how it has affected the telephone and internet networks. Very, very serious problems with connectivity in recent days. Volodymyr Zelensky, the president, uh, commented on that uh, yesterday evening, saying clearly this is something the Russians are trying to do deliberately to stop Ukrainians communicating with each other. And he promised that the government was working on a solution, though he didn't give any further details. And Culver, those problems with connectivity and obviously the freezing conditions, we can see the snow there in the background where you are. It's obviously also causing problems for businesses in Ukraine. Tell us how they're planning to cope with these outages if they continue. We don't know how long this is going to continue into the winter over the next couple of months. How are they prepared? Well, it's hard to find any statistics about it. And actually, businesses that are struggling are often quite unwilling to comment. I think that they feel it's their patriotic duty to say that they're going to manage. But I've spoken to one small business owner who simply said uh, he had a, a printing shop and he said he was going to have to close down, basically, if the electricity situation didn't get better because he could not possibly run his business on generators. Yesterday, though, I visited a mustard-producing factory in Venezia. There, they have got a huge generator and said that they are planning to run on uh, this electricity generator so they can carry on their production at uh, the full level, even if uh, the main electricity supply is cut off. But that means that they're paying twice as much for their energy supply as they were before, which clearly is going to have knock-on effects on their prices. And uh, the manager of this company also told me uh, that their supplies further up the chain were, of course, uh, affected because other companies that are supplying them with the products they need to make what they are producing may not be able to keep supplying them and whether or not they'll be able to import these things is another question. I mean, clearly, it's a huge headache for uh, lots and lots of Ukrainian uh, businesses all across the economy. Uh, people are affected. People have been losing their jobs or suspending their activity. And um, it's something that is a huge worry for the country.